Good morning, good morning, good morning again. We having fun? Yeah, these are fun, aren't they? Uh, again, I love all your comments. You guys are great. Now, you guys know I love Dan the Man, right? You know, there's I love everything. I love everyone. I love everything. Uh, some things I don't like. <laughs> and some things, uh, you know, it's a bit of a trip. But, um, you know, you got to love everything for what it is. And uh, Dan and his, uh, I don't know if they're together anymore, but uh, we've known them for a lot of years. And uh, these have always been great souls, you know. All of you guys are great souls. Are you kidding? Don't ever put yourself down. So I thought I would run this quick video here. And uh, I've been shooting them the last couple of days here to catch up with your questions. I was going to show you this. This is uh, just some of your questions. <laughs> uh, and I've been working through them. So I'm pretty caught up. And if I missed them, forgive me, I will be happy to, uh, to answer them. But please resubmit your questions. But I'm trying to do these videos so everything's covered. We're getting quite a lot of them, but uh, hopefully uh, there's a time where things are going to get a lot busier because of our projects we're in, too. So I won't be able to do as many, so I apologize with you there. But... Um, I'm hoping to make all of you guys healers because <laughs> you all need to heal and you know what's nice about this is that the best healers are those that heal themselves you can't learn it from school you can learn your basic stuff and then some of that's even antiquated thinking some of the medical information is antiquated thinking you know, there was a, we had hired a young woman and she uh, uh, wanted to go and become an RN. So uh, she went to school and uh, worked here part time. And we train all our people that work for us, of course. And so when she was taking A&P, which is anatomy and physiology, the professor was on the adrenal glands and on cortisol and was commenting how cortisol controls sugar metabolism. So she raises her hand and he says yes, and she says, then wouldn't you suspect the adrenal glands in type 2 diabetes? <laughs> and he just had a blank stare. This is the sort of things, you know, uh, thinking outside of the boxes. I use the analogy of uh, Amish horses with blinders, you know, and a lot of professors are like that. And... Uh, you know, the idea is growth. <laughs> I've said this yesterday on videos. I want you guys to take this way beyond me. I'm just, uh, I've just simplified my life through the years. And, uh, um, you know, I just don't care. I mean, knowledge isn't something I seek. I'm happy with, uh, with uh, my God absorption. And that's all I continue to do. And uh, so... You know, someone commented on B12 that it's only in meat. One doesn't understand the adrenals configuration of B12 and how that's done through the adrenal glands with cobalt and the like. So you're, you're, you're making judgment on an end product. It's kind of like protein. We, we see protein and we need a protein. We need complete amino acids. Well, strongest animals in the world don't eat complete amino acids. <laughs> but you, you, you see these kind of thoughts out there which doesn't show true in nature. You don't see those ideas and concepts out there. And nature and the supreme being is my biggest barometer that I have. Man, I, I have no faith in man. Uh, man, the human consciousness is just, you know, getting used to what it is. It, it hasn't worked itself out of the dominance of negativity. So, you know, the human uh, consciousness, it isn't who you are. It's the uh, area of life we took on to experience it, you know. So, let's look at some questions today. Some good questions from you guys, some good comments. I really appreciate them there. Uh, this one was written to me, and I think it was written on the side, so forgive me if I, you know, I'll just call this Kathy. 
She's uh, written me about her mom. And so uh, important, her mom has had a melanoma on her cheek. And she's had it removed, and then they went in again, and it comes back, and went in again, I think, and it's come back. Now, you guys are detectives now, right? So let's see, this, uh, this, this lady's 81 or something years old. Now, she had some rosacea. Now, what would rosacea be? That's when your, your cheeks get a little rosy, right? So let's go back. What is the skin to the human body besides your protective outer coat? It's also your largest kidney, your largest eliminative organ. So what's coming out her skin here? Acids, exactly. That's why it's red. And if she doesn't take care of it, it breaks down. And then you get eczema or, or psoriasis. It just, the, the line just keeps going down. You can't topically treat that without congesting your lymph system even more with chemicals and stuff. You want to open up that skin. But the skin is, is like the to me like the secondary kidney in the sense that your two main kidneys are the main filtering organs of the lymph. So what's not happening in this lady and whichever cheek it is tells you what side of her body her kidneys aren't working. They're not filtering and at 81 that's obvious. Sounds like she's healthy and good and all that. But she'll get in trouble if they keep cutting this out. You could use a salve, but it's going to keep growing back. Why? Because, Kathy, they haven't fixed the causative problem, the causative factors. They're not addressing the cause. They keep going to the effect. They can take off her whole side of the face next time if they want. Or if it gets up in the nose, they can remove her nose. I've seen that. But... <laughs> It's at the lymph system, and you've got to get her to get those kidneys filtering and, the, and, and that lymph moving. So get her adrenal glands going, get her kidneys filtering. I would do two lymphatic formulas, one for the gut, clean up this gut. Remember I was talking about the transverse bowel affects the drainage of the head as well in ways that I don't know. So we've got to clean this body up of your moms and quit this because this can get more serious these melanomas are all lymphomas. They're all lymphomas, except a few true leukemias. So if she's this healthy, she'll be good. But uh, boy, I would, and she's on tetracycline. You know what? Bacteria is just doing their earthly thing. They're doing what God sent them on this earth to do. They're trying to eat on her sewage, and they keep killing the bacteria in her body, which is going to keep compromising her lymph system. They don't have a clue that's way out of their league. They're, they, they're not into to these sort of things. And it's, this medical consciousness has got to radically change. And yeah, you see it coming into the field of naturopathy. So now, like I said, we have naturopathic medicine, but it's not very curative either. You've really got to get to this level of understanding, which if you could say it's true naturopathy, if, if you had to put something on it, Benedict Lusk coined that uh, back some time ago. But that's what your mom has to do, honey. A lot of fruit, get, get moving that lymph system. Uh, you know, I've had people put black salve all over their faces for melanomas and stuff. I remember the, uh, the, uh, this, the uh, FDA was uh, down on black salve because this lady said it took off her nose. She put some black salve and it took off her nose. Well, if your cancer's all through your nose, it's going to pull it out. If it's all over your face, it's going to pull wherever that cancer is. It's going to pull it out, but generally it won't take off your nose. I've used black sap, but it can make a big hole there. But let me tell you, what this lady doesn't understand is if the medical doctors got to her, what they would do to her face. That's what they don't understand. Send a bye-bye nose. I mean, you're, you're talking about major uh, removal of tissue when the medical doctors, surgeons get to her. So you're complaining about a little black salve. Think about the other side of the coin.